Hi everyone. My name is Fiona and I'm currently a year two student in the double major of Biomedical Science and Bio Business. I'm also the president of Biological Sciences Club. My name is Matthew and I'm doing a Biological Science degree here at NTU SBS. Fiona, is that a new double degree offered by NTU SBS? But why though? Hmm. Yes, it is actually the latest double mm. major program that SBS provides and I just happen to be the pioneering batch. The reason why I took up this major is probably because um, I know that the stable bio industry is for me since secondary school and I love learning about all living creatures and I'm always mesmerized at how completely intriguing organisms can function. So after three years of learning pure biomedical science in polytechnic, I wish to explore different aspects of the biomedical industry apart from mainstream research. And therefore, this new double major definitely caught my eyes upon graduation and I believe that it can provide me with more opportunities when I step into the working world. What about you, Matthew? Why do you choose NTU SBS? <laughs> so for me, science has always been a very fascinating journey. The discovery process in science is very impactful and that's why I kind of chose to do a major in biological science here at NTU. Ah, I see, Matthew. So um, as a year 3 student, mm. what do you think is the most memorable moment you've had in this school? That's a very difficult question to answer. There's so much to talk about because my first two years of school has been very impactful. I guess you can kind of call it fate. Uh, but the very first week of school, I was sitting in between these two exchange students in a lecture hall. And that interaction allowed me to meet other students from different parts of the world that very same night on top of ADM already. So I guess my school life kind of started from there. Um, and by the end of year one, semester one, I was given a chance by SPS to represent the school on a short exchange program in Japan. It was there when I met like my seniors from NTU and NUS that guided me a lot in school. When I came out of Singapore, I got to meet an American that came to NTU for exchange again. So we had a lot of fun together with like we mingled together with students from different parts of the world. I remember we also had this barbecue together. So that was all in year one semester two. That following summer holiday, I was selected to represent Singapore in the international exchange program and in that program I met scholars from 15 different parts of the world so I got to represent my own country and my own culture it was very impactful for me and it was kind of life-changing as well because you know the fact that it's a very unique experience that no other Singaporean students can get so Fiona what about you then mm, well I think the first thing that came up to my mind is definitely being a part of the Biological Sciences Club. So it is a student-led club bridging between the school and the student body. So within my two years in the club, I met many like-minded people. We worked through sleepless nights to make events happen for SBS students. Uh, I will definitely um, not forget those mornings where I had to gulp down coffee to stay awake for lecture. But the sense of accomplishment after each event is indescribable. So Matthew, your student life seems really colourful. Have you en encountered any difficulties though? Difficulties is really the studying, right? The studying. The calibre here is very, very high and there's so much amount of information they have to take in every single lecture, right? But it kind of instilled discipline in ourselves. We get to develop our own sense of time management, to figure out what is the most effective way to overcome all these mountains of task, right? So I think that's the part of goal at the end of this journey here, right? Do you feel the same way? I agree. I do face difficulties in my academics as well, especially um, while I'm trying to grasp the business aspect of my double major. Being a science person, I have very limited training and experience in business studies. The learning style and assessments uh, required between uh, science and business discipline can be very different. Mm. So you know like how science paper can be sort of marked, but business assessments definitely require understanding and the ability to adapt and improvise. So I think I definitely need some advice on balance in school and student life. Please help me, Matthew. <laughs> wow, that's a huge task to take on. Even for me, right, the balance between my student activities and study is very, very tricky. But unfortunately, I'm a very greedy person. I want to supercharge my school life, but at the same time do well in school. So the most important thing I realize is to know what you are willing to give up. Um, but I think the more important thing is to have faith that your student activity will compensate what you gave up in the other half. So it means that it's not just for fun, the student activity is not just for fun, but there has to be some sort of benefit 
and value that is worth investing your time in. Even if it's difficult, I think these school student activities can help you set yourself apart from other people. So despite the load, right, why did you continue to be the school president? I think this all started in year one where I really wanted to try something new in university. And I know that I love to care for people and take care of their needs. Therefore, I decided to run for the academic and welfare director in this student club. After a year of serving, I really enjoyed the experience of planning events and making little changes in this school. Therefore, I decided to step up in year two to be the president, aiming to better help the students. Wow, that's very amazing. <laughs> so what exactly is your goals then? Um, I actually aspire to be a healthcare professional. So after my various internships in healthcare institutions, I know that I wish to pursue a life of serving. And therefore, my current plan is actually to take up a healthcare scholarship to, um, to study about the healthcare economics because I believe that this discipline will allow me to look into different healthcare policies in the future to make sure that everyone has more accessible and affordable healthcare services. And currently, I am trying to grasp as many opportunities as possible to make sure that I develop holistically as a person and not just academically. What about you, Matthew? So for me, I, my one and only goal is to make my school life as vibrant and as colorful as possible. I want to supercharge my school life to be as memorable as possible, to make it as meaningful as possible. So I like to think of my school life as an art canvas. It's just a white art canvas with different splashes of colors on it. So there's like bright colors, dull colors. So each of these splashes represent my school life. And I would say that it has become very vibrant now, but I think that there's still some empty white spaces that still can see more colors. And I'm working towards to make it more vibrant from now on. Yeah, I think uni definitely taught me something similar. I learned to see the big pictures. And when I was in polytechnic, I remember that I was very much caught up in academic performance, so much so that I often ignore many other aspects of student life, such as co-curricular activities and expanding my social circles. So in SBS, I taught myself to let go of the fear of failure and develop the courage to explore and take on adventures because I realized there's just so much more to this life and personal growth. Yeah, I guess all these experiences kind of shape us to who we are today, right? For me, right, I feel like I'm never not confined to this small school anymore, nor even Singapore. I feel like there's this whole world for me to explore and to go out and to experience every single thing. So I guess four years is very short. You only have four years of youth that you'll never experience ever again. So you have to seize the moment as much as possible to start taking charge of your own life here. You have to define who you are here and what makes you stand out from the rest. So find your passion, think of ways to make things happen, hone your skills to achieve things. At the end of the day, there is no limit to what you can do and what you can be. So think differently. So to all of you watching here, I hope that you always see the light at the end of the tunnel because every journey can be tough and frustrating at times. But never, never lose the light in you. Have faith and pull through because eventually I believe you will achieve what you've worked hard for. Be brave, embrace the present and look forward to future adventures. Thank you so much for tuning in. We hope to see you in NTU. Hope to see you soon.